My name is Adrian with Project Ramos and on this channel I do tech unboxings and tech reviews so if you're into that type of content consider subscribing. Today we're going to be unboxing some microphone boom arms. Currently I'm using the Blue Compass boom arm and I found four others on Amazon that look comparable to the uh, uh, the blue compass uh, boom arm so I wanted to check them out test them out and see how they compare to this boom arm there's a lot of pros uh, that go for the blue compass boom arm uh, but there is one con that I found it's not really a con but it's something to consider if you are looking for a microphone boom arm and I'll quickly go over that now the microphone that I'm using with it now is the Rode pod mic and it has uh, quite a bit of weight onto it but if you're going to be using a lighter microphone such as this one here which this is comparable to the Shure SM57s uh, or uh, let's see some of the other you know handheld dynamic microphones um, you know they don't have enough weight to keep this boom arm positioned where you need it what will end up happening is when you have this uh, on this boom arm here it'll begin to lift even though you tighten the tension pieces that are on the boom arm it'll just continue to lift so I want to check out these other boom arms to see how they compare to this one when it comes to mounting light microphones onto them so I'm just going to quickly check here and well uh, let me cut out the all right there we go all right, so the chat room is loaded. I see some folks already logged in here from Amazon. Let me know that you're here, who you are. That way I can say hi to you. And if you have any questions on any of the products we're going to be talking about here uh, today, uh, let me know in the chat room and we will discuss. So as I mentioned, uh, I want to test out these uh, microphone boom arms that I'm, uh, I brought in from Amazon just to see how they compare uh, to the compass boom arm by blue and then also see if it can uh, easily uh, well if we can mount this lighter dynamic mic and see if we can position it and not have it move around on us so let's go ahead and jump into the first one now these names are hard to uh, pronounce at least for me it's difficult to pronounce so you could just look in the carousel there this uh, the name on this one is S-K-A-E-H-P all right, let's go ahead and grab it. Now, some of these come in some fairly large packaging, so uh, it's going to be a little difficult to unbox these guys and get everything on camera. Nonetheless, we're going to do the best we can here. All right, let's check this one out. Now, when I got this uh, delivered, uh, the top was already kind of popped off, so... Uh, but it was in a different box, so it was safe. All right, so here's the first one we're unboxing here. And it is packaged very well. Again, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the chat room. And then also let me know that you're watching. That way I can say hi to you. All right, so again, if you're just tuning in, we're going to be unboxing uh, four microphone boom arms that are brought in from Amazon to check out. And I want to also compare it to the boom arm that I'm using here, the Blue Compass boom arm. All right, so that is it as far as the packaging goes. All right, so this boom arm is made of uh, aluminum. Um, it does feel pretty sturdy. And you have some, a tensioning uh, knob here and then another tensioning knob here at the bottom. And here is the mount that goes onto the desk. And the mount does have like a rubber piece here so that it doesn't scratch your desk top. And then it has the hole here to be able to mount the boom arm onto so as i said i just want to quickly uh, get this set up so that we can see if it can handle a very light microphone and then also included in the package is these uh, uh, velcro straps so that you can strap down the 
uh, microphone uh, cable and then you get the instruction manual that comes with it and that is it for the packaging and once again if you can let me know that you're watching that way I can say hi to you in the chat room if you are watching the recorded version after after we're done with this broadcast um, definitely uh, give me a follow on Amazon because we're gonna be doing a ton of unboxings throughout the week all right so now let's go ahead and get the arm Okay, it is now installed. So let me switch to my front camera here. Okay, so without any microphone loaded, I'm gonna see if we can keep this in position here. And it looks like it's holding in place. So if it can hold in position without a microphone, it should definitely be able to hold a very light microphone in place. So all I did right now is just, um, increase the tension on this knob here i haven't even increased the tension on the uh on the other knob so once i increase the tension on the other knob then it's definitely going to hold very tight there all right so there it is there let me grab a microphone uh holder now i do want to note i have two of them here uh, let me flip over to my overhead camera this one is the i think this is a three eighths adapter on here and this is the 5.8 uh, this microphone boom arm has the 5.8 adapter and then you can also take this off and then you'll get the 3.8 adapter I hope I got those sizes right but for this demonstration I'm just gonna use the 3.8 adapter so we're just gonna get this guy put on here real quick all right and then let's get this microphone onto the holder and let's change our camera angle and there you go there it definitely holds a light microphone and it doesn't move around so if i position this exactly where i want it it's going to hold exactly where i leave it now that is a plus over the compass boom arm because if i were to swap these microphones the compass boom arm will start lifting up on me you know no matter how much tension i put on the tension knobs on the on the on this boom arm the um the compass boom arm it would still lift on me it got to the point where because i was using this microphone here and uh before i bought the rode pod mic it got to the point where i was actually adding a weight onto this boom arm just to keep it in place so this one right off the bat uh, it's it's working perfect with a light microphone and it moves around very easy so you can position this exactly where you need it and it's going to stay right there so very good it's a very good boom arm very impressed and then as far as the other features that this boom arm has you can see this little uh, raceway here so you can route your cable on to this little raceway all the way down the arm and then you can hold it in place with the included velcro uh, straps there very simple and works very well if you guys have any questions on this boom arm let me know in the chat room that way we can uh, discuss if not we're going to move on to the next product and the next product we're going to do the same thing we're going to unbox it quickly set it up and then test it out with this light microphone uh this is one of the things that we're doing here is i just want to see how it compares to the very popular compass the blue compass boom arm all right let's get this unmounted give me a second here and all right the next one that we're gonna unbox here is again I'm not gonna try to pronounce it here spell it out s-i-o-w-l and this is another one now price wise the last one that we just unboxed it it, it is uh price wise cheaper than the uh blue compass arm this next one is also cheaper than than the uh, blue compass arm so let's check this next one out all 
Now this one came in a much larger box, so I'm just going to keep this front view here because I think you could see the best as I unbox it. Again, if you guys have any questions, let me know and we will discuss it. Oh, wow. You know, sometimes the way they pack these things is pretty comical. This is the actual box here. This is the box that it came in. <laughs> All right, now that we're dealing with a smaller box, I think we can flip over to our overhead cam. And let's check it out. And again, this one's the SIOWL boom arm. Okay, we get the instruction manual, and then we get the adapter. Uh, oh, this one comes with an additional, so you can even uh, adapt it down to, I think this is a 1 8th. So you can go from 3 8 to 1 8 to 5 8. So this one comes with an extra one. And then here's the desk mount. Very similar to that uh, Rode PSA mic boom. The bottom of it does have a uh, rubber piece. That way you don't scratch the top of your desk there. And then the bottom piece that clamps on is also looks like uh, ha it is also rubber. So it doesn't scratch the bottom of your desk. So I'm going to quickly. And then it looks like you have this guy here to be able to secure the boom arm once you got it into place. And then what's kind of cool about this one is that it has this hook here for headphones. So once you do have this uh, fastened onto your desk, then you can use this as a headphone hook. I'm going to add this onto my desk real quick right now. All right, let's go ahead and unbox the actual arm now. If you just tuned in, we're going to be unboxing microphone boom arms today. And, uh, oh, I just hit my overhead camera there. Let me adjust that there. Okay, so that is, uh, oh, this one also ha uh, comes with Velcro uh, strips there or straps. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, this one has a tie wrap here. Let's go ahead and get this guy cut off. All right. Okay, so one thing to note here, it does come with these neoprene... Um, little sleeves on the arms here which is very cool that way you can run the cables underneath this and uh, hide them away or you can run them on top as well so it does come with uh, some velcro straps here it already has some velcro straps on the arms as well this one has a very similar look to the uh, Rode PSA boom arm, uh, mic, uh, boom arm and then here is the piece uh -oh. Here's a piece that goes onto the microphone here. So let's go ahead and get this mounted and then get our microphone mounted onto it and see how this one works. Now, another thing to note here, this one does not have tensioning knobs. So whatever tension's on here is what you're gonna get. All right, let's go ahead and get our front facing camera. Okay, again, without having a microphone installed on this arm, I can already tell you it's going to be able to hold right in place because with no mic, I'm able to position this wherever I want it and it stays. So that is a very interesting design being that there's no tensioning knobs, but yet it's holding exactly where I need it to be with no issue. So let's go ahead and get this 
our microphone that we're testing with installed. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the chat room. If you just tuned in, we're going to be unboxing microphone boom arms. And there it is there. Okay, so we got our light microphone installed. And okay. Yep. Works perfect. So I can position this wherever I want it, wherever I need it. Let's say we want it in this position here. And it's going to hold exactly where I want it. Perfect. So interesting design that there is no tension knobs, but it works very well. And the arm is actually very long. As you can see, I can almost reach clear across my desk here if I needed to. So with this arm, I'll be, I would be able to install it on the front of my desk, bring it low profile this way and get it right where I need it. Very cool. So I'm liking this boom arm as well. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. If you guys have any questions on this boom arm or the boom arm that we just unboxed, let me know in the chat room. If not, we're going to move on to the next one. This is going to take me a second here just to uh, remove. That way we can move on to the next boom arm. We have two more to go to. The last one... The last boom arm is one that I kept seeing coming up on Amazon. So I wanted to check it out. Now this isn't a versus uh, broadcast here, but I have been using the compass uh, or the blue compass boom arm. And um, I really love this boom arm, but it didn't serve me well with this microphone here, which is lighter than this Rode pod mic. Um, so I wanted to check out these other ones to see uh, if these boom arms would do good with a lighter microphone. Would work well, I mean. All right, let me go ahead and grab the next one. Let me highlight it in the carousel here. And this next one, uh, let's see here, is going to be... Okay, we already unboxed that one, that one. Okay, this one is made by a company called uh, Square Rock. All right. Let's go ahead and get this guy opened up and see what we get here. If you're just tuning in, once again, we're uh, unboxing microphone boom arms today. This is the third one that we're opening. Uh, after this one, we got one more. And we're doing a live demonstration as well with a light microphone because I find that these boom arms can be very difficult to work with if you have a light microphone that you want to mount. So I wanted to bring in a few of these from Amazon so we can demonstrate it live and see how it does with a lightweight microphone. All right, let's head over to our overhead camera. Okay, so we get the instruction manual. Here's the mounting piece for the desk. And just like the last two that we opened up, you get the rubber piece here so it won't scratch your desktop. And then the bottom piece does has like a plastic so it won't scratch the bottom of your desk. So I'm gonna mount this piece real quick. Okay, and then on the top side where the micro where the boom arm goes, uh, you get this piece right here to be able to lock it into place once you do have it inserted. Okay, and just like the last two, we get Velcro straps. And then we get one Velcro strap here that's holding this uh, in place. And then the microphone boom arm. Oh, and by the way, the last two, they were uh, aluminum. This one's also aluminum. You get the tension knob here, here, and here. So this one has uh, three tension knobs. And then you get the cable raceway here. It has these little clips. Very. This one's very similar to the uh, um, 
the blue compass boom arm and then you get the company name here or the brand uh, and that is it so let's go ahead and get this guy mounted and then um, as far as the adapter goes you get the 5 8 and then you can remove that and then you'll get the uh, I think it's 3 8 can't remember the exact size but you do get these adapters there. All right, let's get this mounted and see how it works with our microphone. All right, so. Let's go to our overhead cam. So here it is here. I'm gonna tighten this tension knob and it's staying in place, which is telling us that it's not gonna have any issue dealing with a light microphone. So let's go ahead and get our microphone uh, holder here installed. Okay. Actually, Get our other microphone holder installed instead. This one's a little difficult. So I'm taking the adapter off, moving it over to this one here. If you're just tuning in, uh, we are unboxing microphone boom arms and testing it with a light microphone and see how it how well it works with the light microphone. Okay, there it is there. Now, I'm having to tighten the tension on the base. Okay, looks like everything's in place now. Perfect. I can get this in position. Now, I will say that this one is a little more difficult to... Uh, you can see it's a little wobbly. But I'm sure that that just... Uh, it's just going to take a little bit of uh, tweaking as far as the tension. Because there's uh, three tension knobs on this one. But this one doesn't seem as stable as the last two that we just opened up. But nonetheless... It is working. So once you do get it in position, it looks like it wants to sag a little bit. So that's going to be interesting to test out on this one because this microphone is very light, so it shouldn't be sagging. But it is holding, so it is doing its job. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. If you guys have any questions on this microphone boom arm or any of the last two microphone boom arms, let me know in the chat room. If not, we're going to move on to the last one for tonight. And it's going to take me a second here to get everything uh, removed off my desk. And then I'm going to grab the next one. The last one is, as I mentioned, is a popular one that I see co coming up on Amazon searches. So every time I search for microphone boom arms, the next one is uh, one of the ones that comes up quite often. up a sweat here all right let me go ahead and highlight the next product here so the next one is this uh maano maano m-a-o-n-o -O. and uh again if you're watching live let me know in the chat room that way i can say hi to you I always like to know who is watching let me go ahead and grab the next one all right here it is so this uh, price-wise is the most expensive of the four however they are are all of the microphone boom arms that we've unboxed today are very close in price but this one is a little more uh, expensive I think by like 10 or 15 bucks so not much so they're all pretty much in the same ball game here 
excuse me, the same ballpark. All right, let's get this guy opened up. Now, as far as packaging goes, this is probably, this microphone boom arm is probably packaged the best in terms of the box presentation. Okay. All right, here we go. Switch over to our overhead. So here's what we get here. Get the instruction manual. Here is the desk mount. And... Oh, okay, this one has a very unique design here. So we twist the base and the clamp begins to open up. And similar to the other microphone boom arms, there's a rubber piece here, rubber piece here, so that it doesn't scratch your desktop or the bottom of your desk. And then it also, uh, oh, this piece is supposed to go there, little O-ring there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this guy installed quickly on my desk. Let me see what else is in here. Looks like a little uh, wing nut. And not sure where this goes yet. Screw. And that is it. Okay, let me get this. Actually, I should check and see where these go because I think it goes onto the base of this. Oh, I see. Okay. So, uh, you would use these pieces if you were going to uh, drill this base onto your desk instead of uh, clamping it. So, we are definitely not going to be drilling this onto the desk today. So, let me get this clamp installed real quick. All right, get this hardware out of the way. Now here is the boom arm. And you gotta be careful when you unpack these because sometimes attention, uh, as you've just seen, they'll, they'll just expand on you real quick. This one's also made out of aluminum and then you got the cable raceway here. And then uh, the adapter here has the 5 8 adapter, which if you remove, then it goes to a 3 8 adapter. And then here is the base of the microphone boom arm there. Tensioning knob there, tensioning knob here, and then a third tensioning knob there, brand here. So let me go ahead and get this installed on the desk. All right, let's get this packaging out of the way. All right, so as you can see, with no tension, this thing's not going to stay in place. So let's start adding, tightening down these tensioning knobs. And it stays in place perfectly. Okay, as far as it... Sorry about that, I had to check on... The base there okay so as far as the sturdiness of this microphone boom arm this one is very sturdy with no microphone on it you can see i can position it and it holds so that is a plus let's go ahead and get our microphone mounted i don't expect there to be any issues with this one being that uh, it's already holding pretty well here And there it is there. Working at as expected and I can get this microphone 
positioned exactly where I need it and it's gonna hold no issue. So if I want it there, lower, stretched out a little more, it's perfect. Holds in place. Now I gotta figure out this base because the the boom arm is a little bit loose on the base, but I think it has something to do with this hardware stuff. Let me take a look at the instructions real quick here. Yeah, it looks like, uh, oh, there is an adjustment at the bottom uh, that you have to adjust with the screwdriver to be able to add some more uh, tension onto the boom arm here. So that's why it's a little loose. But I could do that at a later time here. I'm not going to waste everyone's time here. So this boom arm is working great. Now, I have to say, out of all the boom arms that we've unboxed today, the first and second and the last have been the best in terms of tension. The third one, the one, uh, let me see, the brand was uh, the, I think it was Square Rock. Uh, that one was a little wobbly. Um, I'm going to play around with the settings on that one to see if I can get it to be more stable. Now, uh, th this is the last boom arm we're going to be taking a look at here. If you guys have any questions on any of the boom arms that we unboxed here today, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, uh, we're going to be signing off here. But before we do, uh, if you're watching the recorded version on YouTube or Facebook, be sure to hit the link in the description over to Amazon and follow my Amazon page because I do a lot of unboxings on Amazon. I've got a ton of stuff we're going to be getting through this week, a lot of photography uh, equipment. Uh, some tools, ele electronic tools. Um, I've got just a ton of stuff that we're going to be going through the rest of this week. So definitely follow me on Amazon. If you follow, then you'll get notified. If you have the app installed on your phone, you get notified when I do go live. That way uh, you can tune in when I am live there. And if you are watching now, I would appreciate it if you were to follow. Uh, it helps me out a lot. I'm trying to grow this community here on Amazon, uh, being that I am very passionate about electronics and uh, electronic devices. And so unboxing them here live and demonstrating them is uh, something that I really love to do. And then also another reason to follow my page is that I'm going to be uploading full reviews on all the products that I unbox here. That way I can give you my final thoughts on everything that we're looking at here. So with that being said, I thank you guys for joining me here tonight. And uh, again, be sure to follow because we're going to be going live uh, throughout this week and unboxing just a ton of products. And some of the products that I like to bring in and take a look at is not just products that I want to compare to popular products, but also uh, devices that are interesting that... Um, you know, are a slightly different take on uh, what you typically see out there. So I really like to look at unique uh, products as well. So if you want to discover new tech, that's another reason to follow me on Amazon. With that being said, hope I, uh, hope I see you guys on the next live. Adios.